Hello, my name is Sean Lukew, and welcome to an introduction to procedural animation and shading. Um, I'm a visual effects uh, artist. I've been using Houdini for more than a decade, um, ever since it was Prisms, actually. And I was involved in uh, Houdini's pre-beta era, which again is over 10 years ago. Um, so I'd like to share with you some tips and tricks on uh, creating procedural animation and shading. So first of all, let's just take a quick look at the effect we're hoping to achieve. What I'd like to point out here is that we're not talking about character animation. We're talking about the apples animation. Trying to procedurally animate a character, in my opinion, is a bit of a fool's game. You will never get the control you need. You'll spend months and weeks and years building a procedural animation system that will never get you exactly what you want. So the worm in this uh, quick time is only, only there to motivate the rotting of the apple and we can convert it to a NURBS curve. And the revolve, and there's our apple now. Okay, so let's quickly uh, UV this, or just see what the state of the UVs are, and display that. Now you'll notice those are a lot smoother. You can make the, the width bigger to make it a smoother effect. Now you don't want to do this too much because then you'll start to have the trail preceding the, um, the worm. But if we go back here, we'll see now it's a slightly smoother. And you'll notice actually that I've probably gotten a bit carried away on that effect. Let's make the point colors a little bit brighter. So we'll just add a um, math. Okay, so the smooth does is simply smooths things or uh, creates a smooth interpolation uh, between a certain range. So by default it puts it in the range input. It should actually put it into the amount input and unplug the range. So let's just see what the effect of this is. So if we just start to play with it, you can see that the, the fall off gets a lot sharper. Okay, so now we've got our color mixing working. Um, probably not quite the colors we want yet, so let's just change this to more of a rotten apple color. Uh, let's see, so that's more of a rotten apple color, I would say. All right. Now, one thing that I've noticed right away is that this transition between the rotten apple and the non-rotten apple is a little bit too smooth. So, let's just pause this quickly. We'll put in a um, not a fit, but we'll put in a smooth, as we did before in the soft. So we'll plug that into the amount. And it's very gross looking, but still. Okay, and maybe we'll just quickly turn our frequency back up again to two. Let's see what we get. Okay, and we render. Now that's definitely an apple that I don't think you'd want to be eating. Uh, two kinds of help in Houdini, help and x-help. x-help is expression help, so if you can't find it in one, check the other. The other good place to look for help, of course, is in the documents, which are much improved uh, recently. If you don't want to use a built-in help, you can just use Google, use the advanced search options, and look on the side effects website. And searching is much better, actually, through Google. And the latest docs are, are always on the website. So I think that's pretty much it. That's my Apple tutorial. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me um, through the uh, CG Masters website. And if you have any uh, suggestions for future uh, tutorials or any improvements you can suggest to this tutorial, I'm uh, all ears.
So best of luck in your career, and we'll hope to see you back here in CG Masters.